I couldn't have gotten where I am without, without really kind of leaning on the community, without asking for help sometimes. I think we should never be afraid to ask for help when we need it, um, to ask for support, to look for collaborations, um, and having, you know, just really trying to build that community. Um, I think that's really what has supported me throughout my career. Molecular animation, I think it's been really fun. Um, I think mostly because we get to work with such great collaborators and think a lot about really diverse science. With molecular animation, what we're doing is we work together with scientists uh, to create visualizations of hypotheses. Uh, these visualizations are our animations typically um, and they result directly from the ideas of our collaborators. For example, we've animated the HIV life cycle, we've animated the SARS-CoV-2 life cycle. We're interested in using animation to try and get an understanding of how close are we to a community consensus on how things work at a molecular scale. One of the things that I think has been really interesting about animation is that it allows people to understand where their differences lie. Um, so when I've shown animations or I've watched a collaborator show animations within a talk, there are sometimes there are people who stand up and are like, no, that's not the way it works. Um, I have a different idea. And they're able to communicate that idea in a much more exact way that, you know, that was really allowed because of that animation. That should be part of the joy of, of creating this, is, is kind of the technical challenge of thinking about how to do this, but also that at the end you have something that really shows an idea that has never been communicated quite like this. We meet every week. I started talking to people in my department about starting a group, um, an animation lab. Uh, that where we could take on more and diverse projects and I could also start training people to take on a, the type of position that I have here. My lab right now is six people, uh, so we have a, a number of postdocs and we also have a full-time animator. Grace is from Canada and Taiwan, uh, Shraddha is from India, Anne is from China, Margot is from France, and Francesca is from the U.S. and Puerto Rico. Everyone has different ideas and can give really great feedback to each other um, about how to improve our visualizations. These animations that we're creating, nobody, nobody's ever created an animation that shows this exact thing. We really have to come up with these solutions um, ourselves. I enjoy having a challenge and also doing something that's new, at least to me. I think one of the things I really like is being able to work with my hands to create something. I think that offers some balance from just sitting in front of a computer all day. Every year I ask them, you know, what they'd like to be for Halloween. Aki, my oldest son, he has to be a flying squirrel, uh, which is one of his favorite animals. Uh, so I made him a flying squirrel outfit uh, costume. And Kenzo, he recently got a pet snake. And so he really wanted to incorporate the snake into his costume. And so we're making him a snake handler. I'm happy when they try to give me a difficult one because I'll, I'll try to do it. I, I'm always up for a challenge. One of the, the great things about being here at the U has been a really diverse community uh, that I've been able to connect with over the years. There's this real, you know, kind of sense of community here um, that goes uh, beyond any single department, and that's something that I've really appreciated. I don't honestly know whether that would necessarily happen anywhere else. One of the things that I thought about when, when starting the lab was the lack of opportunity for people who are interested in this type of work. So when I was a postdoc, I was really lucky to have an opportunity to do animation full time. But opportunities like that really just don't ex exist. Um, and so I wanted to offer that um, through my lab. And so I think it's really one of the few places in the world where postdocs are able to get this type of training. This is my dream job, and I'm hoping that they can find their dream jobs um, and that I can help them get there.